from Nashville, Tennessee, and the Nashville Broadcasting Network, it's the You Gotta Love It Show with your host, Keith Bradford. You never know who's going to show up and what's going to happen, but one thing is for certain, you you gotta gotta love it. it. Here's your host, Keith Bradford. You gotta love it. Well, we are like one minute away from our 615-612-3899 line ringing with Sam L. Smith, our guest today here on the You Gotta Love It show, where we're going to be playing his music and talking to him about his project. And he is a teenager. He's a teenager in country music. He also records some gospel songs. And he's got some videos out on YouTube and various other places. We're just waiting on that phone line to ring for him to call in and be part of today's broadcast. And like I said so many times, when we set up these interviews, they know that it's a very, very restricted amount of uh, window as to whether uh, we're on the air or off the air. And I think the call is coming in right now. Let's see. NBRN online. Yes, Keith. Yes. This is Sam. How are you? Hey, Sam, you're right here on time, and good for you. I'm glad that you're prompt and being on the air. I've been talking about you ever since I signed on this morning. Are you tuned in this morning? I'm not tuned in. I'm not. No, I've been doing some schoolwork and all that kind of stuff, and I haven't been able to tune in. Well, that's okay. Uh, I guess you're you're doing the virtual thing up there in Kentucky? Yeah, sadly, here in Kentucky, that's, that's all we're doing right now. We're supposed to go back January 19th, but I really don't know how that, that'll go right now. It's just, it's kind of, everything's up in the air. Yeah, it's crazy. It's really crazy. I am, um, I've got a lot of questions to ask you this morning. Do you have the time to spend with me on the air this morning? Absolutely, absolutely. Where can I send in at? It's uh, nbrnonline.com. Okay, sounds good. Um, okay, well, let's just go ahead and get started with, uh, I got a whole list here of things I wanted to ask you. I, I, I'm a little bit confused. Depending on where I get your music from, sometimes they're marketing you as a Christian artist or country gospel, and other times it's just straight country. What, what is it that you're trying to do with your music, Sam? Sure, well, you know, what I, what I really do is I do a lot of Christian country music and country music. Uh, you know, I can if I can do both and uh, make people smile and inspire people, that's really what I do. So I have a Christian country album out right now, and then I got my two country singles out, Blue Jackets, which is about FFA, and The Way You Make Me Feel. So really, I'm just trying to inspire and put smile on people's faces, and right now, that's, a, that's something we need to be doing right now, is putting smile on people's inspiring people because you know 2020 and it looks like 2021 too is going to be a very hectic year so if i can just inspire people with my music that's what it's all about well i got your music through dina wood over at indie express that's how i came to know who sam l smith was and i've got the record that we've been playing now for about a week the way you make me feel is the one that we're playing here at the radio station and i got online and i saw all kinds of stuff that really, really uh, intrigued me about your career for such a young age. Well, for one thing, I saw you and your band playing at a drive-in movie show. That's exactly right. You know, you know, I kept it during the coronavirus and stuff. We was trying to find somewhere to play, and it was our first gig together and everything. And I said, well, man, why don't we just play at the local drive-in? So they was having, like, a Christmas show or something, and it was in, like, November, I think. And... It was like 50 degrees outside, and it was going to get dark, and it wasn't going to be too awful cold for us to play. So we talked to the owner, and I'm good friends with him, and he said, absolutely, come on out, we'd love to have you. And so it was like a, it wasn't a sold-out show, but man, it was packed. So we had a good time that night. Well, I saw where you, uh, the clip that I was watching, you opened up the show with uh, John Anderson's Swinging. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's probably one of my well, one of my favorite John Anderson songs, and there ain't no better way to start it off. Yeah, it's got that upbeat thing, and people kind of kind of like it. You know, they kind of sing along just to swing, and you know. Oh, but, that's a catchy song now. Have you turned nineteen yet? I have turned nineteen. I turned nineteen, and December twenty first was my birthday. 
Well, how about that? What about that? Yeah, so we went to we went to Gatlinburg, and uh, I just hung out out there for the weekend for my birthday and stuff, and just kind of piddled around. We really didn't do much, just something to get out of the house and do. Well, you know, um, when I watch you perform and listen to your recordings, like I said, I've got, I think, I a copy of everything you've got out. Everything Dina Woods got at uh, Indie Express, I've got a copy of, including your bio and your picture and all of that. And first thing that came to mind, and I don't want you to take this wrong by any means, it's just, it's just an old man talking on the radio about the first thing that came to mind when I saw you perform, and that is, I only wish, Sam, I only wish that you could have came up through the ranks in country music when I did. Now, you're talking to a man that's 72 years old. So when I came up at 18 years old through the ranks, it was an entirely different country music world than what it is today. And I'm not by any means wishing you were 72 years old. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is I only wish you could have been exposed to the way it was when I came up through the ranks. Right, because probably then it was traditional country music and good country music. Well, not only that, Sam, but we were playing seven nights a week to a crowd. Oh, my gosh. Well, I think I'd really like that. Well, there was, everything was wide open. Everything was, there was no social distancing. There was no mask. There, everything was wide open. We were playing every kind of thing that you can imagine. We were playing fairs and rodeos and nightclubs and picnics and funerals and hangings and weddings and... <laughs> Just <laughs> anything you could get in. That's that's exactly what I like to hear. But yeah, I mean, I wish there wasn't no mask or social distancing or anything like that. I just want to get out and play and sing country music and Christian country music, and I, I just love to sing. And uh, if you look at my videos and like listen, follow me on Facebook and stuff. I mean, you can tell it just it does something to me that it's just, it's just. I know that I don't want to make this sound bad, but it's like a drug. It's just it, it's addicting. And not that I do drugs at all, Lord, no, but you get what I'm saying. So right. Anyway, I just love music. I mean, it's not, there's not a better feeling than music. How did you actually get into the music? Uh, it all started when I was, you know, in middle school. And, uh, you know, I have a, a deep register voice, a baritone voice. And, uh, you know, I think I kind of hit puberty pretty early. And... Uh, so I was, I missed the school bus one day and this choir teacher came up to me and he said, Hey, you know, you really need to consider about joining choir. And I said, listen, man, I don't know about this. I'm, I'm, I really can't sing. I don't know nothing about it, uh, or anything like that. He's like, well, just give it a shot. Just come over early in the morning before school starts and we'll sit down and talk about it. I was like, well, that's cool with me, I guess. So I went in there and, uh, I think I sung him a song or something, one of my favorite songs. I can't, I think it was the Easton Corbin. And uh, he says, well, Sam, just, just join choir, and we'll work on it, and you sound really good, and I think we could use your voice with a little tweaking and stuff. So he put me in the honor choir. Now, why in the world he put me in honor choir, I don't know. But he put me in there, and then the position came up for doing a solo at the Christmas recital or whatever. And I was like, uh, okay, uh, I will see what we can do. So he said, sing the song Blue Christmas by Elvis. I was like, oh, dear Lord, Elvis, how do you follow him? I mean, that's, that's too good, but, I mean, I'll try. So I worked, and I worked for about two months on that song. And me and that choir teacher worked on it. He says, all right, Sam, you ready for the big night? And the night finally rolled around and was singing at the Christmas recital, and it was a packed out show. I was like, well, I guess. I mean, I'll give you my best. And uh, people started videoing it and recording it and stuff. And uh, they just thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, it was just a wow moment for me because I never thought, you know, I would be singing Elvis and getting out of my comfort zone. So then after that, I got calls from churches and stuff because the video went on Facebook. And it didn't go viral, but people from the locals just kind of seen that, you know, I could sing. And so churches and cowboy churches started calling me and they're like, hey, you need to come sing. I was like, okay, well, now I need to find some songs you know, that's some gospel, and start singing them. So I did, and it all started with the song Long Black Train uh, by Josh Turner. And then once that song got out to everybody, 
seemed like a lot of more churches started getting a hold of me, and then my ministry has just grown from that. So that's really how I got my start. Well, I would have to say, in light of what you just told us, that Josh Turner is probably one of your biggest musical influences. Between him, Randy Travis, Keith Whitley, uh, William Michael Morgan, Randall Penn, there's a few out there that you know really stand out to me. But I, you know, I like that traditional country sound, so that's what you usually hear in my music. So I got to keep that keep that going. Well, Sam, we're getting ready to play the way you make me feel. But before we play that and let you go back to your schoolwork, how do people find Sam L. Smith on the Internet? Sure. Well, you can go to www.samlsmith.com, or you can find me on uh, Apple Music, Spotify, if you do any sorts of downloads. Um, let's see. You can find me on Facebook, Sam L. Smith Music, uh, Instagram, uh, you know, just anywhere. I'm, I'm pretty much everywhere but Twitter. <laughs> Well, Sam, we have a lot of songwriters, besides artists like yourself and bands and promoters and all the other folks that listen to this show, we have a lot of songwriters that listen to this show. Are you currently reviewing or accepting any material for upcoming recordings? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, well, right now I'm about to have my Christian Country album drop, and I got uh, a song that was pitched to Chris Young that he turned down, but I think it's a good song. It's just not for his market. Just accepted one of them songs for the album. It'll be out in February. And this summer we're working on maybe putting out maybe a few, maybe an EP. Uh, me and Randy's been talking about it and stuff, possibly putting out an EP. So I'm always taking in, uh, you know, and uh, reviewing some music right now and uh, maybe possibly up for somebody wanting to write with me. So, well, would you like to go ahead and give out a email where they can send their MP3 demo? Sure, sure. Uh, Sam L. Then a period Smith Management M G M T at gmail dot com. Okay. Well, don't be too shocked if your email account blows up. Hey, well, that's fine. And hey, I'll even give out my phone number if you're okay with that. I'm fine with it. Yeah, I mean, if anybody wants to get a hold of me, my number is 606-465-2225. So that's my phone number if anybody wants to reach me after the show. I'm pretty much open. I just got to get some schoolwork done, but I'll have my ears open, and i got another interview at 430. So until then, I'll be wide open and available to talk. Okay, Sam. Well, thanks for calling in. We're getting ready to play your record, and don't be a stranger here at nbrnonline.com. Hey, thank you, Keith Bradford. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
name is Sam L. Smith, and you can find him on Facebook, and he is currently accepting reviewing material for some upcoming projects. Nice young man, just turned 19 years old. The Way You Make Me Feel is his very latest country single that we're playing here at nbrnonline.com. And like he said during the interview, he also has a Christian album, Country Gospel Songs. Great, great future, I believe, that young man has. We're going to keep an eye on him and see if we can't help him along the way by p promoting his music right here at the station. <laughs> 